In tonight's Healthy Living, a look at asthma and perhaps a different way for you to treat it. It's an important conversation when you consider this stat from the Ohio Department of Health. One in 10 adults here has the lung condition and it's responsible for 70,000 emergency room visits a year. I met a woman who was all too familiar with that drill. How you doing, okay? Yeah. You look great. About four years ago, on a mission to breathe easier, patient Lisa Levan put her trust in Dr. Sadia Benzaquin of UC Health. She had severe persisting asthma. Your chest gets really tight and you can't catch your breath, um, so you're trying to figure out how to breathe. I constantly would have spells where I'd have to be in the hospital, so I was probably in and out of the hospital 12, 13 times a year. So even with conventional treatments like these, life was tough, but not anymore. Would you have been able to do this four years ago without reaching for the inhaler? No. no Just without. walking. Right. To get on a better path, Lisa went through a comprehensive workup before the doctor determined she was a candidate for something called bronchial thermoplasty. So this goes all the way down into the lungs. Yes. The tip you see here expands to deliver heat to smooth muscle tissue in the airways. The heat shrinks that tissue, ultimately reducing the chance of an asthma attack and making it easier to breathe, fulfilling goals. Improve quality of life, uh, decrease actually the amount of medication that they rescue, medication that they need mm -hmm. to use. Uh, to control their asthma. In Lisa's case, that is exactly what happened with added benefits. She says some of her old medications caused weight gain. Since scaling them back after bronchial thermoplasty, she's lost more than 100 pounds. And the allergens in the air that caused her lung trouble don't stop her now. This asthma patient still carries her inhaler, but she's used it just twice in four years. I've been able to enjoy being able to be mobile enough to enjoy life again. And that is a huge deal. The doctor told me about 30% of the pulmonary patients they see could benefit from bronchial thermoplasty. It's reserved for people over the age of 18. And as with any procedure, if you have questions or think you might be a candidate, just speak with your physician. Breathing easier. Yes. Nice. All so right.